Cozy. And now we're receiving our first video from the landing site. Uh, you can see uh, personnel uh, bundled up against uh, the chill of an early Saturday morning on the steppe of Kazakhstan. Uh, they have al already erected uh, that stand around uh, the Soyuz uh, vehicle that landed upright. Uh, we believe the landing occurred about 25, 26 minutes ago, but we don't have an, an unofficial touchdown time for you. We're estimating about uh, 10, 10 p.m. Central Time. Uh, this uh, the first video from uh, the Search and Recovery Forces, courtesy of the Russian Federal Space Agency. At the landing site, you can see the Soyuz uh, descent module upright as uh, the Search and Recovery Forces and RSC Energia personnel uh, begin the process of uh, opening the top hatch uh, along with the extraction of the crew. We're waiting to hear further information as to how uh, the crew will be dispositioned, whether uh, there will be an opportunity for them to, to sit for a while in reclining chairs or whether or not they'll be uh, uh, brought uh, immediately to these helicopters that did make it uh, on the ground for an expedited uh, flight back to Kustanai. And now uh, we're looking uh, at the first of the crew members being extracted from the vehicle. We believe that that is, uh, should be the uh, Soyuz commander, Oleg Novitsky. Just be careful. Let's put him here. And you're looking at Kevin Ford, uh, the Expedition 34 commander, who was the second crew member to uh, be extracted from the Soyuz vehicle being uh, bundled up against uh, the extreme uh, frigid temperatures on a Saturday morning at the landing site. Uh, to Ford's uh, right is uh, Soyuz Commander uh, Oleg Novitsky. Evgeny Tarelkin uh, will be the final crew member to be extracted from the vehicle. <laughs> Kevin Ford uh, completing his second flight into space and a total of 158 days in space on his two missions. The first uh, as pilot of the shuttle Discovery on the STS-128 mission that flew in August and September of 2009, a 14-day flight uh, of assembly and logistics at the International Space Station. Ford, uh, Novitsky and Torelkin launched uh, on October 23rd of last year from uh, Site 31 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, arriving at the International Space Station for a docking at the Poisk module on October 25th. And Evgeny Tarelkin now out. All of the crew members have been extracted from the Soyuz vehicle. Slide down. Russian uh, search and recovery forces uh, attending uh, to the crew members. There's a thumbs up signal from Tarelkin. Uh, Russian nurses also on scene uh, to uh, conduct uh, some very preliminary medical checks of the crew, but all three crew members uh, certainly appeared to be smiling 
and uh, in good spirits as they were all the way through their increment of almost five months in space. Let's take his pulse. We still do not have uh, an unofficial touchdown time uh, for the Soyuz. Uh, Based on the uh, voice calls uh, that we received, uh, we can only speculate that the touchdown time was around 10.08 to 10.10 p.m. Central Time. That's uh, the best information we have at this point. And so after a few minutes uh, in a reclining chair to uh, begin an acclimation to Earth's gravity, uh, Oleg Novitsky, the Soyuz commander, uh, begins uh, uh, to be brought, uh, and it appears as if he will be brought uh, towards uh, one of the helicopters that landed for an expedited return uh, to uh, Kustanai. <laughs> Kevin Ford now being bundled up uh, and being hoisted uh, to be brought uh, we believe uh, to uh, one of those helicopters that were able to land on the ground and uh, Tarelkin uh, now will follow in suit. Will you carry Evgeny? Yes, I will. Good girl. So uh, the search and recovery forces uh, operating uh, with dispatch, uh, wasting little time against uh, the inclement weather conditions at the landing site. Uh, that deteriorated over the past uh, two or three hours, uh, bringing uh, the crew members uh, two helicopters. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, this uh, is a replay, a video shot inside uh, one of the search and recovery helicopters of uh, the descent uh, of the uh, Soyuz vehicle uh, toward its landing site. Uh, below, you can see uh, the thick clouds and and the fog uh, that hindered uh, the uh, landing of all of the search and recovery helicopters. Uh, to the best of our knowledge, only two of those helicopters actually uh, landed uh, to expedite the extraction of the crew, which um, those crew members uh, are being loaded back onto uh, the search and recovery helicopters uh, to depart the landing site for uh, what we believe will be Kustanai, Kazakhstan, the prime staging city, but we do not have that confirmed. Again, uh, this video showing uh, the uh, Soyuz descending under the parachute, disappearing into the uh, thick clouds uh, where it landed, just about uh, right on target uh, at uh, what we believe was a landing time uh, almost an hour ago of about 10.08 p.m. Central Time, although we have not received any uh, confirmation of either an unofficial or official landing time.